Hello everyone. Uh, today's video, this video is going to be how to upload a avatar to VRChat. The next video that I will be uploading is how to make an avatar, make an avatar like the one that I'm uploading. First things first, you're going to want to get this version of Unity, Unity 2018.4.20F1. That is the version that the VRChat SDK uses. Another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go is when you're downloading Unity, you're going to want to you're going to want to get the Android plugin. You'll see why this plugin is important a little later. I'll get the links in the description for what you'll need. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to import custom package. You're going to want to import the SDK. Okay, now that we have that installed, the next thing we're going to want to import is the VRM converter. Now the reason that I'm using the VRM converter is because I am using the using the program called Vroid, V R O I D, to make my avatars, which is why I need the converter. So the converter is not necessary unless you are using the VR the Vroid to make your models. Now it's gonna it takes a little bit for these things to import, so you'll just have to be patient. So now we have that installed. I'm gonna go up here, we're going to import, and we're going to import our avatar. Now again, this will take a couple minutes. Okay, so now that we have this imported, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go here and we're going to duplicate and convert for VRChat. And then you're going to want to click this button here that says for quest. Then we're going to duplicate and convert. Here we have our model. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to do the descriptor. The descriptor is this little gray orb. And you're going to want to get that between the eyes. This little gray orb represents your POV. Meaning that you're going to want to get it as close to between the eyes as possible for your avatar. Next we're going to click on the main body and over here you'll see shader VRM M2. We're going to want to change that to VRChat mobile tunelet. As you can see that brightened it up a little bit and we're going to do the same for the body. So once you have all that done you're going to go to file build settings click on Android and then you're going to switch platform there we go now it is done then what we're gonna want to do is open the control panel and we're going to log in okay now that we're lined in we're going to click auto fix and then exit out of that and then down here you know that you did it right when you see down here that it says build and publish for Android and we're going to click this and it's going to load a little bit. So here we are. Now we can name the avatar. We're going to click this button here. And then we'll be able to upload. And there we go. Now it is uploaded. Now we have a Quest avatar. To make a PC compatible, what we're going to want to do is click this. Switch build target to Windows. And that will switch it to Windows, which will make it PC compatible. There we go. It should now say build and publish for Windows. And there we go. Now it was now once I hit upload, the two avatars will merge and then we'll have a PC and Quest compatible avatar. And there we go. One last thing that I'd like to share in this tutorial is how to delete avatars. So what you'll do is you'll to delete an avatar you'll open up a Unity project and then you'll go open up the SDK splash thingy and then you'll go here to content manager in the content manager you'll see all of your avatars and there'll be a button 
that says there will be a button that says make public, copy ID, and delete. This button right here is how you will delete old avatars. For example, like this. Are you sure you want to delete date night? This cannot be undone. And delete. And there we go. That is that is how you make a Quest and PC compatible avatar. Again, I'd like to say that in the next video, I'll be showing how to how I made this avatar and how you can make one too. Thank you so much for watching.